was poppy you are it's your girl amani sharifa what's up what's poppy what's poppy yo <laughs> shout out to all of my bodies that is tony <laughs> welcome to your girl channel what's up my loves what's good you are so on to this girl to work episode, we are going to be talking, mamas, all about do not feel like that you are looking down upon man or because you have actually raised your caliber of the type of man that you deal with, mama. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to be giving my girls some more well, well, advice that can really help you out. So let's go ahead. We're gonna have by doing into it. Let's get it. Hi, <laughs> Chua. Thank you again for tuning back into your go channel. What's up? What's motherfucking good here? Yeah. What's poppin', babies? What's good, you are? <laughs> What's up, baby girls? So, like I said, on to this episode, we are going to be talking, mamas, all about, you know, do not feel like, girl, that you are, like, looking down upon man or because... Uh, you actually like have reached your caliber on the type of man that you deal with, girl. Mm, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we really gonna talk about this today, and I'm really excited to talk about this, baby girls, because you know, like a lot of girls kind of like deal with this like backlash, I guess you could say, or whatever, from people when they step into like the energy my girl where they know you ain't saying like what the hell they want they know who the fuck they are you ain't saying they know like what type of dude they're willing to deal with and what type of nigga they not willing to deal with you know like they just adopt that energy we are they're like taking more control of situations when it comes to like who they actually decides to like involve themselves with you know and you could really be in this type of energy because sure like girl maybe you don't learn like some really you know lessons in your life that allow god the universe the lord the holy spot the divine the most high whatever name baby girl that you want to call god <laughs> five by me love because god got multiple names she ain't shame but you really learn like some really crazy ass you know just different life lessons that a logo the universe has taught you, mama, from dealing with other niggas out here, you know? So maybe you could have been a case where, you know, you dealt with shit like in past relationships or it could have been situations like you, you dealt with things in dating or, you know, entanglements or whatever the case may be. But like in your past situations like that, you have learned valuable lessons as a woman. You know, you've learned valuable things as a girl where you know what you want at this point in your life. So you have, you know, females like that out here. Girls where they the bug through some motherfucking shit out here with these dudes and shit like that. And now they're fed up where they're like, you know, like, I'm not dealing with this no more. I'm not dealing with that. I'm not willing to, you know, accept this. I'm not willing to accept that. And it's almost like... Yeah, you saying just give it to the beat with you. It's almost like niggas like give you backlash behind that. And they start to like paint this narrative of you. Like they try to paint this picture of you are like, oh, you know, you think you too good now, or you ain't saying you look down upon niggas now and shit like that. Like you have some men out here that maybe you could have been man that you used to deal with or whatever like that. Not all men, of course, but I'm specifically you ain't saying i'm specifically talking about those dudes that actually really do this stupid fucked up immature ass shit 
we are the like try to like tell a girl like or talk about a girl so even if they may not say this shit to like your face they may be gossiping behind your motherfucking back telling other people and shit like you know um oh you know she feel like shorty feel like that you know she too good for niggas now whatever like that you know back in the day she was da 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 i used to talk to her back when da 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 you know it's like they just always want to like bring up your past they always want to talk about like shit that ain't even going on and the plus are more man but these motherfuckers just fall like that shit they just gotta say you know like what happened back when you used to maybe accept a nigga doing this or accept a nigga doing that just to like make it relevant in the present moment you know so baby girls what i want you to understand if you are dealing with situations like that rather if these niggas that actually said this shit to you or you heard it through the grapevine or whatever somehow you found out that like dudes and shit like that was saying that or they even if they didn't say that shit to you directly maybe you like encounter certain people that you used to deal with or in, was in relationships with and they kind of like treated you in this kind of way where it rubbed off that type of energy either way what you got to understand mama you are not wrong for being in the motherfucker energy that your aunt oh crrr, po, yeah. <laughs> you're not wrong for that because at this point in your life a lot of good the universe is guiding you baby to do better for yourself think about it like this if you've already been through like you know those phases where let's say you just have fun out here we are maybe you want taking dating or relationships or situationships or you know entanglement so is like you've already went through that phase where you just have fun and you weren't really taking these serious or you already been through that phase where you know you've been in toxic ass relationships and you was done all types of crazy whatever girl if you if you don't already been through those phases and you've already learned your lessons and you already like a like really aware of like okay you know you don't want to do certain things when it comes to like dudes why the fuck would you still deal with motherfuckers out here that represents those things that you're not interested in dealing with anymore yeah she ain't like girl like you tell me like do that make sense i'm waiting i'm gonna wait for you do that make sense no <laughs> i will tell you when yeah it do <laughs> like girl that shit don't make sense they give me heat <laughs> like it really don't make sense because it's like shit like mama if you already to learn what the fuck you needed to learn when it comes to like shit that you don't want in relationships or don't want when it comes to like dating a dude and shit like that why the hell would you continue to put yourself and situations where you still deal with that especially baby girls if you are the type of girl where you want butter for yourself you know like i said you've already been through those phases i'm really talking to my bushes that this applies for we are you don't burn through the phases that i mentioned you know plus more and you're just like i'm done with all that so if you've already burned through that why the fuck would you continue to deal with people that maybe they're not the same people that you've experienced certain things with but they still carry that same type of fuck ass low vibrational energy meaning like that oh shit like it's damn near like the same spirit just on a different body you know so you deal with like a different dude but they taking you through the same shit that you already done banto you know like why would you continue to deal with that if you know that you've already learned those lessons mama it would not make sense for you to you know to deal with that type of shit still so understand baby girls that girl you are not born 
You ain't saying like you are not one guy who are for wanting battle for yourself and seeing that you know what I'm gonna raise my caliber, you know, and the type of niggas that I deal with. And when I'm talking about like raising your caliber, I'm talking about attracting different men that do not put you through the same toxic ass shit that you dealt with in your past. So for an example, like, shit, maybe you dealt with, like, abuse from a nigga. Okay, so don't deal with any more abuse of ass niggas. Maybe you dealt with, like, a nigga that was cheating on you all the time. You ain't saying lying, cheating on you all the time. Okay, so don't deal with a motherfucker out here that's going to be treating you in that kind of way where they're cheating on you and lying to you. Maybe you dealt with a nigga that... He was like really emotionally unavailable or he never had time for you. You know, okay, so don't deal with niggas like that. You know, these are just examples, my loves. But essentially what I'm seeing is that whatever you know that you have run-ins with, that a lot of good the universe showed you, baby, that that's not something that you really need to deal with when it comes to like, your next serious relationship or dating or whatever the case may be, you need to make sure that the man that you deal with going forward in the future, they are not in that same low-ass, fuck-ass caliber of man that you are dealing with in your past. Mm, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because what's the definition of insanity? Doing the same things over and over and over again, but you expect a different result. Am I right? Or am I right? Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, a bitch will right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it would not make sense for you to do that. So you raise your caliber of the kind of man that you're willing to deal with because you don't want to experience those same things that you've already learned good, valuable lessons, you know, when it came to situations like that. So when you talk about niggas out here that want to bump their motherfucking gums like bushes, you ain't saying want to sit up here and pop their big boy, hot boy shut. Rather, like I said, if it's to you or behind your back or to different people or whatever like that, you got to ignore them childish ass fuck ass dudes. Because like, them type of dudes like, okay, when they see, when they see that a woman has really changed and she's not really willing to deal with like the bullshit that she dealt with in the past from like either that dude or just niggas in general that like resonates on that same type of low ass energy or whatever like that. Those type of dudes that feels the way mama that really like take that shit personal as hell and you know like try to talk trash and shit like that about the fact that you know, they say things like, oh, you know, shit, shorty feel like that. Shit, she too good for certain niggas now. She, she you know, she thinks she better than everybody now. Them type of niggas like to project. Because that's what the hell it is. That's them trying to project their insecurities out on you, baby. See, them type of dudes that do shit like that, them the type of niggas that never change. That or, or just have not wanted to change. You know what I'm saying? And they live in this vibration where they're okay with doing the fuck ass shit that they've been doing. They're okay with treating women the way that they treated them. You know what I'm saying? They don't they don't see no need for like growth, maturity over time, nothing. They're like completely okay with that. And when they're okay with that, they have this they have this mentality where they feel like that every fucking body is supposed to stay the same. Everybody is supposed to stay the same way that they always were. And it's really because, mama, them motherfuckers don't ever change. It's because them motherfuckers don't ever grow, mature, elevate. So they expect for you, baby, to be at that same kind of level. And that's what I'm seeing that, sure, like, you're not one for wanting to change. 
you know, like, you're supposed to change. That's the whole point of you working on yourself and shit like that. So when a person, like, try to make it seem like that, your, your change and your growth is a bad thing all because you're not allowing they motherfucking asses to treat you any kind of way anymore or you're not allowing niggas that is at that same low vibration of what you ain't saying you don't know what like in the past with dudes and shit like that you're not allowing them to come into your life and treat you that way and they try to make you feel like that you're wrong they try to make you feel like that you're doing something wrong they try to make you feel like they try to project onto you like that oh you know you you think you too good now or you know you think you better than you know certain niggas or whatever like them are some pussy hating ass niggas that need to go to the motherfucking sandbox and go play with they little i don't know they little toys in the sand because they sound childish as hell they sound fucking childish you know what i'm saying because it's like at the end of the day what the fuck did you expect you to do Oh, I know. They expect for you to keep playing in the sandbox with they stupid asses all day. And because you're not doing that anymore, that's why they motherfucking asses really tight. And guess what? That's not your problem. <laughs> like, girl. <laughs> that's not your motherfucking problem. Because at this point in your life, mama, a low good universe has you ascending on a, on a more higher level. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you're doing this for the right reasons, because you just know that you want better for yourself. You're tired of dealing with certain things. Who the fuck cares who like it or don't like it? You will always be beast. And you gotta keep this in mind, mamas. You are always going to have people talk shut. Yeah, and Shayla, like, I don't give a damn what you're doing in life. When you want a good path, when you want whatever kind of path you're on, you're always going to have motherfuckers out here talking shut. Especially when you're on a good path. You know, you're always going to have Satan's energy walking through some low fuck ass vibrational people that want to project the inner demons out onto you. When in reality, they need to be minding their motherfucking business. You know what I'm saying? Like, mind your motherfucking business, nigga. And stop sitting up here worried about her business. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, motherfuckers need to respect where people are at. And not, you know, try to not respect it. Or because they're not where they want them to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always say that on my channel. Like, you have to respect people for where they're at and not for where you want them to be at the end of the day. So, even if, let's say, a dude, like, he ain't saying, like, that you used to fuck with or used to talk to and they see that you really changed and you really grown and really elevated and you're not willing to deal with niggas like how many more, a world nigga would just respect it. Yeah, he ain't saying like a world nigga would just respect it and just be like, sure, like, sure, the elevated, she changed, like, it is what it is, you know, like, and he'll go on about his business and still mind his business. He not gonna be talking like my trash and shit like that about you because, shit, that's like some female ass shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's some bitch nigga shit if you got time to talk about a whole girl that's actually trying to do good for herself by the beast of a logo the universe. And you talking about her thinking that you like throwing shade on her. No, bitch. You look a world motherfucking stupid. You look a world motherfucking well soft. Because you don't look like a well man. Well man will mind their motherfucking business and keep handling their business. But bitch ass niggas that you know, they on that immature shit. And they really are insecure deep down inside. And your light irritates the other demons, BB. They're going to try to project bullshit out onto you to make you feel like that. Sure, you need to like revert back to the way that you used to be. Yeah, ain't Shane. Which is that you used to actually give them type of niggas the time of the day. So you really just have to understand, BB girls, like this shit for more of like a higher level. Understand this shit for more of like, you know, that spiritual level, BB. 
from you know just just understanding more of like the psychology behind why the hell these niggas are doing this like you know like if they're seeing this shit to you like trying to make it seem like that you think you better now the niggas and shit like that or better than them or whatever when you look down the poor man now or whatever like that girl ain't nobody got no time for that stupid ass fuck ass dumb ass low vibrational shit ain't nobody got motherfucking time for that because it's not about you looking down upon nobody it's not about you feeling like that you know that like they're at the bottom of your shoe or something something like that like it's not about that it's just about that you recognize baby gal of what a longer the universe the lord the holy spell the divine the most high has taught you in your life from the different niggas that you don't already dealt with in the past and any person that's elevating changing and growing over time they're gonna learn the fucking lessons over time yeah you're saying you're gonna learn your lessons over time so it's not like it's not a thing about like you looking down upon them or anything like that but you're just you're learning your lessons and you're applying them to your life my girl and i want my girls to really understand like girl ain't shit wrong with that don't let these motherfuckers out here that be in a motherfucking feelings that you ain't shame piss as how they need to take them panties off because they will motherfucking <laughs> pussy as hell don't let them niggas pop they shit on you or like try to make you feel like that you're doing something wrong or because you're listening to the god-given advice and guidance that along with the universe has guided you in your life mama you're going to know as a woman when the most high is really speaking to you through your woman and to wash on give you tons of signs give you tons of sync what answer is which is a series of advance to get your attention to something bugger and overall just giving you like those gut feelings as a girl on like to to shift gears you ain't trying like shift the motherfucking gears move definitely so that way you can continue to ascend as a woman and if you actually follow that guidance girl fuck what they got to say out there fuck what the hell he got to say fuck what other niggas and shit like that got to say because again those type of man you're not the issue baby they the motherfucking issue they're the issue and they know they're the issue deep down inside but because they're not truly working on themselves from an introspective they're not going to admit that to you and at the end of the day like shit like it's no judgment like it's not about like judging them or anything like that again respect them for where the fuck they are which is that that's the type of time they on and you know <laughs> just respect it respect them for where they at and not for where you want them to be you know and just continue to focus on like what the hell you're doing in your life but at the end of the day like don't allow those those just low vibration projections that they're trying to put onto you you know to like make you doubt so i hope this helps mama <laughs> i hope this hope this all this helps babies uh the end of the day like you do have you ain't saying like some girls out here that go through this you know they try to do battle for themselves and then they start to like hear other people's opinions like i said what of this directly coming from dudes that you used to deal with that like did you my fucking dirty or it's just coming from niggas in general that like you ain't saying maybe you done deal with them but they they come from like that that same like just low toxic spirit that you've dealt with in the past but this is a different type of dude you know but like those type of dudes when they project that type of shit onto girls you have some girls out here that will feel like when that stuff starts happening that you know maybe they're doing something more you know like maybe they need to actually you know not think so like what like highly of themselves like i don't motherfucking do it like you know what i'm saying like they start to question like oh you know maybe i shouldn't you know be looking at it like this so maybe i do need to do you know be more lenient with that 
fuck no. Je ziet je en laat go, fuck no, like no. At the end of the day, you deserve better, baby. You deserve better. And if, again, if you've learned those lessons, I gotta keep putting this motherfucking shit out here on the books. So you know what's good, my girl. If you done already learned those lessons, you don't owe the motherfucking shit out there. Period. If they don't like the woman that you're ascending to, that's okay. <laughs> They're not meant to be in your life. Period. They're not meant to understand where you're going. And that's okay. But you gotta get comfortable, mama. You have to get comfortable with understanding that not everybody gonna understand the vibration that you're ascending to. And that's okay. But don't, you know, doubt the things that you know is why right that you're doing for yourself going forward because you were guided by the universe. A Lord God, the universe, the Lord, the Holy Spirit. Don't doubt those things that he's guiding you to do or because you want to make people out there feel better about the fact of who you are as a person now. You get what I'm saying? You ain't saying. Like, nah, don't do that, babies. You know, there's, there's two types of people. You got people that they look down upon people and they feel that they're better than people. And it's coming from a very low vibration standpoint, meaning like the very cocky, the very arrogant, the very boastful. They think that the whole motherfucking world like rewards about them. So they look down upon people. So you have people like that. And typically, people that has that type of mentality, those are motherfuckers that really resonate with Satan's energy. He ain't saying, like, just keep it a world with you. He ain't saying, and that's not no cliche shit, no, that's a world G shit. They resonate with that Satan energy because Satan's gonna always want you to feel very boastful, very arrogant, very cocky. You know, like he's gonna always want you to feel like that the whole motherfucking world will voice about you and to look down upon people and you know just handle people and your kind of way, judge people, shit like that. Satan's energy is always going to want to like you know have people doing those kind of things, you know. So when you have somebody that actually acts like that they resonate with satan's energy remember satan works through people places and things my girl you know then you have people where they are not cocky but they're confident which you should be <laughs> you know what I'm saying? like i always say with my channel baby it's like you're supposed to be confident because that represents a lot of the universe energy Along with the universe gonna always want you confident, my mas. He's always going to want you confident because when you're confident, then you're more secure with the who the hell you are, baby. You know? So those kind of people, what is the confidence? Like I said, the Bantu life lessons that has taught them like what they want in a man, you know, going forward so they know what not to deal with. And they're just not willing to like make those same mistakes that maybe they've made in the past, you know? So it's not that they look down upon the position like that, but they just understand that their vibration is raising higher because, you know, a lot of the universe, the most time, mama, is showing you that your vibration is raising because you're applying your lessons to your life. So, because that's the case, you're not going to like be dealing with motherfuckers that are not willing to like measure up to your vibration. So they're not in your caliber of niggas anymore. Hey, you know saying? Uh, you, they're not in your caliber anymore because. You don't want a nigga that's gonna cheat on you. You don't want a dude that's gonna be like abusing the hell out of you. You don't want a dude that's gonna be like emotionally unavailable to you. You know, just spitting off some examples, but you don't wanna do it like no more toxic shit. So if you know that, again, what have we been talking about all day? We've been talking about today's episode, why would you deal with that again? You know, so those type of dudes that are from your past or that still represents mama those like past spirits that you used to deal with in the past so they're like you know different dudes but they still have them toxic treats 
they're not in your caliber anymore so no you you wrote you know like you rose above that like you you rise above that you know what i'm saying like you're on a different vibration so it's not that you're looking down upon them but you just understand that y'all are not compatible anymore those type of dudes are not in your caliber so because you have that mentality baby that's not coming from a place of looking down that's not coming from a place of thinking that you're too butter you know or too good you know or better than people and shit like that from like that low satan vibration energy no you just understand baby that you deserve better so you are better in that sense you learned your lessons by the grace of a log of the universe and you want better for your damn self you know so you know that you know with you wanting that for yourself in order for you to like attract that type of do and divine timing for where a log of the universe blesses that type of man to come into your life you have to raise your caliber of mind of what you deal with and again nothing's wrong with that no no not at all <laughs> nothing's wrong with that baby so just understand that these dudes that fell away who the fuck is go let me tell you <laughs> Let me tell you. <laughs> I had dudes that felt the way. Yeah, you know what saying? They like, I had dudes like that maybe I've like dated in the past or, you know, like maybe was at a previous relationship with in the past and, or maybe, you know, have talked to in the past, whatever, you know, like a long time ago. And I had niggas that they felt the way. Like, these motherfuckers really felt the way that I raised my vibration and did not want to deal with niggas like them anymore. Like, I didn't want to deal with them anymore. Like, in the sense of, like, we weren't dealing with each other anyways. But, like, when they started to notice, like, that I've changed and that I've grown and, you know, just I'll, I'll grow certain things about, you know, like, who I was back then versus you know who a log of the universe was elevating me to over time these dudes that like fit that caliber of what i'm talking about today we are you know the very insecure deep down inside they felt the way they felt the way so they started like you know like just having this type of energy like oh she thinks she too good shorty thinks she too good you know she thinks she better than people da, 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 now like and it's like shut the fuck up and go fuck yourself my nigga you know what i'm saying like <laughs> like <yeah. laughs> like you just be what a child do things like shut the fuck up and go fuck yourself you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't gotta fucking explain to your dumb, stupid ass why the hell I'm changing and growing and elevating as a woman over time by the grace of a logo of the universe. I don't gotta explain that to you. You're not my motherfucking father. Shit, you're not my baby father. Like, I don't gotta explain shit to you, my nigga. So why the hell do you think that I give two fucks? I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I guess you thought that. Oh, I guess you thought by saying that, that was going to make me actually care. Because it did <laughs> like i mean like what you want me to say like oh you thought i you thought i would care hmm. oh okay yeah i done i done so i actually go like trust me babies i know how you feel when you start to go when you start to change when you start to elevate by the grace of the most high and you know you're raising your caliber of what you're willing to deal with for man. I'm telling you, you do have some men out there that will try to project the honor demons and insecurities out on you because they have never changed or elevated. So they don't like to see that that's the type of time you're on. But again, that's not your motherfucking problem, you know? And that's how I looked at it. When I had men doing that shit, 
like I said, like a long time ago when, you know, they started to notice, like, I've changed, I've elevated, I've grown, and, you know, like, man just started to notice, like, okay, she, and she surely not really dealing with certain type of dudes anymore, you know what I'm saying, like, and the sense of, like, I just was not accessible in a way where I wanted to deal with any more toxic situations. I was still with toxic relationships. I was still with just, you know, the dating scene anymore. I was still with all of that shit because, bitch, I know who the fuck I am, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, I was still with that shit. And th that was just my personal decision by the grace of a logo of the universe. Because, again, I've learned my life lessons when it comes to, like, dating, toxic relationships, you know, like, those different stages that women go through shit, you know, like, I've already learned my lessons. So, with me learning that, it wasn't a need for me to keep dealing with niggas, like, those type of niggas out there what the fuck would i still do that for but them type of niggas those were the niggas that felt the way he ain't saying like it was certain niggas not a but like certain niggas felt the way or because i did not want to deal with their type of caliber anymore so they tried to label me as like Oh, you know, she thinks she better than people now. Or she looked down on poor people. And it's like, shut the hell up. Actually, you think I'm better than you. And truth be told, you really look up to me. Oh, poor yeah. <laughs> like, if you really want to be honest, if you really want to speak facts, okay, let's speak the facts then, my dude. You actually think, not even think, I'm sorry. Let me correct my <laughs> language. You actually know I'm better than you and you actually look up to me because you have not matured, you have not elevated, you have not grown as a man on how to treat women. So you want to project the fact that because I have grown, elevated and matured and know like not to deal with, you know, certain just toxic ass shit anymore because that's what you're supposed to do as a woman. You're supposed to be learning, growing, and changing over time. And you're supposed to, mamas, be applying those lessons to your life. You're supposed to be doing that as a woman. So just because I did that as a woman, oh, now I feel like I'm better than people. Now I feel like that I, I can look down upon people. No, motherfucker. That's your own damn stupid ass projections that you're trying to put on to me to make you feel good at night. So if that's what you want to do, fuck it. Do it, my nigga. Either way, I don't give a fuck. You ain't saying like, go like, that's the type of mentality that you have to have. You know, like, those are just kind of like my thoughts, like when niggas be doing this stupid ass shit. Because I'm like, shit, like, at the end of the day, that's not going to stop shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not going, like, at the end of the day, that's not going to stop me from doing the things that I know along with the universe is guiding me to do. If you want to stay in a fuck-ass, low-ass vibration as a man when it comes to, like, how you handle and treat women, okay, whatever my dude, like, that, like, shit, that ain't got nothing to do with me, big dog. Like, you ain't hurting me at the end of the day. I don't fuck with your ass, no way. He ain't saying, like... We, we we don't have no dealings with each other, so I don't give a damn. But you damn sure ain't going to think that I'm going to really give a fuck about the fact that you pop a bug shit. Or because I'm doing what I know along with the universe is got me to do in my own life. So, babies, it's really about, like, you got to have the confidence, girl. You got to have a lot of confidence in what you know along with the universe the most high is guiding you to do in your life. You know, fuck what them niggas is saying. Trust me, it, it happens. And it's okay. Don't take it personal. I ain't say don't that shit personal. I just loud niggas talk shit. I ain't say shit to nobody about it. I ain't correct. It. Like, I ain't go back and forth with no niggas. I ain't, I ain't have no conversations with these niggas about it. I just let them talk all this shit or whatever. And I'm just like, I, I, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? At the end of the day, you still ain't telling what a man is again. You're still not talking to me again. You still will never have me again. 
you still would never like 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 that's what you're mad about see you're so mad because see you want me you want me so bad but you can't have me and truth be told you never really had me to be good with my nigga because if you didn't do me right and the sense of league and you didn't do right by me <laughs> and my eyesight you never had me my dude period that's what it is your mom because you really want a money sharifa mm, well you ain't going to cut me oh oh yeah <laughs> like girl you gotta have that type of mentality like girl he really wants you that's what he want to be these niggas that be feeling good they be so irritated because they see like dumb they can't even get you back even if they wanted to and a got late go if the past niggas that's popping shit or whatever like that you know about you like trying to state the truth you know you think you bother them people now or you looking down upon people now or because you changed the type of caliber of dudes that you're willing to deal with if they're saying all that beyond the fact that they're insecure like what we talked about today and all that stuff they really deep down wish that they could have you a gun that they can deal with you a gun but if them motherfuckers never treated you right back when you used to deal with them whenever that was bitch they never really had you for well for well yeah shane because they didn't value you and appreciate you so you gotta literally tell yourself that you know what i'm saying like fuck with these things you got to guide yourself based off of what a log of the universe is guiding you to do you know what I'm saying? And that's how you become more of a secure boss bush at the end of the day. That's how you know you really stand in your power of what the most high is guiding you to do and to be as a woman. Because you're not allowing other motherfuckers out here to, you know, tell you who the hell you are. But you instead, baby girls, is basing who you are based off of what a log of the universe is showing you and what yourself is telling you. Period. You know? So have that type of mentality. Know my mom's that if you want that type of time where, you know, you know that you, you know, you separating yourself from that toxic shit. You already done learned them lessons. You know, like, ain't nothing wrong with that, baby. And fuck them niggas that got something to say about it. Whether if it's past niggas that's popping shit or niggas that's just mad because they can't talk to you on general because you know that these niggas is toxic. Who cares? Fuck them all. At the end of the day, a gun. That's their problem. That's not your problem. Because you're not doing anything more. If anything, by the grace of a log of the universe, you are on the right path. So, I love you, baby, so much. <laughs> love you, love you, love you, baby, so, 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 so much. Please like this video so that way our channel can continue to grow. Comment below, mamas. Let me know, like, sure, if this is your situation, you say, if you have dealt with, or if you're currently dealing with, you know, niggas, like, trying to project this bullshit out on you, or if you've heard things, like, niggas seeing this, or, like, you know, like, baby girls, let me know. Remember, don't, don't get that shit, none of your energy, don't respond to it. Let the motherfuckers, let the motherfuckers be the bitches that they are. And let them pop they stupid ass shut. You ain't shame. Let them put their panties on. And let them talk they shut. <laughs> like, girl. Like, let the motherfuckers put their panties on. And let them get real wet and talk they shut. Since they want to act like females. You know what I'm saying? Since they want to act like a fucking bush. Let them do that. Don't give them your energy. Don't give them your words about it. Let them think and say whatever the hell they want to do. And you keep focusing, mama, on the things that Allah God the universe is guiding you to do. So subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you are updated when I post my next topic. 
<laughs> and check out my playlist too i have so many topics in here that you could really better perform so check them out babies pretty soon i'm going to be having <laughs> a lot of those series that got introduced to the channel these will be new series remember babies that you could actually watch not just listen to you know through the podcast or bush if you feel like my motherfucking podcast, the tool, because <laughs> there's going to be a lot of things that you can watch. And if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and follow your girl on Instagram. My Instagram name is one of the screens. So go ahead and follow me, mama, because I would love to have you beautiful, a part of the Amani Sharifa, crew, crew, gang, gang, family, what's the worst motherfucking girl, yeah, <laughs> but until next time, babies, peace, love, and light always, Mwah. later.